Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a little bit different video. There was a recent post on LinkedIn by Salesforce Trailhead, and the date of filming this is uh, December 18th. So this was posted on December 17th, 2022. So now you are able to link your certified Slack administrator and MuleSoft developer level two to your trailblazer.me profile. So when I went into my Trailblazer profile here, you can see my two certifications is active, and this is where you can add certifications. If you hit edit, you're now able to connect additional certifications. You can connect your Slack and MuleSoft certifications. So in today's video, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to explore the uh, certified Slack administrator exam, see what's involved. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. So starting off here, we're actually gonna look at the uh, cell, uh, Slack certified certification. Uh, all the links for this will be in the description of the video if you wanna take a look at that yourself. But this right here has a high overview of what the exam is, the cost. And then I open another tab here and it has a little bit more details about the exam guide. So we're kind of going to run through and take a look at um, what they have to offer. But it looks like they're offering the admin prep course and exam for $300. So as you know, most Salesforce exams are $200 without additional study material, and I've used Focus on Force, uh, which is an additional cost to help study for those um, as well. If you wanted to just buy the Slack certified admin exam, it'd be $150. So let's take a look at the overview here. So the Slack certified admin exam is designed to verify the skills and knowledge you have acquired to create effective experience for your team as Slack administrator. So what are the qualifications? To be an admin, you must demonstrate the knowledge and skills to implement, configure, and manage Slack. They also recommend that you have at least six to 12 months of real world experience as a Slack admin, as well as experience working in the admin console. And the program is designed to build skills and verify proficiency for Slack admins. So this is what they recommend that you already have a moderate level of familiarity with. So admin roles, Slack architecture, user provisioning, setting and policies, channel structure, app approval processes, data security, process design, and how to drive adoption for your team. And then they also recommend here, um, if you have less experience you to purchase the admin prep course. So about the exam. So the exam format is up to 60 multiple choice questions. It is online proctored. And this is kind of interesting here. It says exam format details. As soon as you achieve a passing or failing score, your exam ends. This means that you may not have to answer all 60 questions. That is very interesting. So I know for the Salesforce certification exams, you're going to have to take all the questions and you find out at the end in a pass fail and you get your score percentages based on that. So very interesting. You miss enough questions and you're going to fail the exam. They're not going to waste your time with finishing the exam. Or if you get enough questions right, hey, congratulations, you passed. You don't have to take the rest of the exam. Pretty interesting. So they allow you 90 minutes for the exam. Um, so they give you 90 minutes to take the exam, but they're saying basically, hey, it may not take that long because as soon as you hit the pass fail um, level, the exam stops. Your passing score is 62%. Exam fees $150. And it says customers will receive one additional exam retake at no additional cost if they need it. That's pretty cool. Salesforce charges a small fee if you fail your exam to uh, retake it. So they're offering you the ability for one free retake. So pretty cool. It is online proctor. Doesn't look like they offer a in-person exam, which is okay. I actually prefer taking online proctored exams. It's just far more convenient. And access to the exam will expire six months from the date of purchase. So it says, while there are no prerequisites, we, rec we recommend that you take the prep course to prepare for the exam. And the exam languages are English and Japanese. So here's the outline for the exam. Kind of the meat and potatoes here, right? So the fundamentals is 8%. And they offer, if you hit the plus sign, some details here on each what's involved in the fundamentals. You can go through that if you'd like. 
Workspace is 30. Workspace administration is 13%. Channel and user group administration, 22. User lifecycle management, 17. App administration, 12. Security, 17%. And enabling Slack success, 12%. They also offer some additional resources here with links. And then it talks about how to prepare for your exam. Make sure you have a photo ID and you sure you have to do a registration process before you take the exam. And then a candidate agreement here. And, and it talks about the exam retake policy as well. So it looks like you do get on the first attempt are eligible for um, one retake exam at no additional cost. And the cost for additional exam attempts beyond the one free retake is 50% of the standard pricing. So this seems like a great certification if this is what you're uh, in the market for. Um, if you found this video kind of informative, I can do more videos in the future on what Trailhead's posting. I know they've been posting a lot about new super badges that are available um, and I'm keeping an eye out for new certifications that are um, available as well. I know they're always working on that. So if you like the video, please make sure to like, hit that like button so I know to make more content like this. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, and I'll see you in the next one.